Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. In the previous video, we just connected our Redux to our app container. We also learned about the difference between container uh, and the DOM components. So in today's video, we are actually going to uh, implement the add to cart action. So basically, we are going to dealing with the reducers and action creators. So let's get started. And I'm just quickly going to fork the existing code. Now, when you look at the add button, when you click on this, nothing happens. Actually, something is happening over there. The state is being updated, but we are not using the state anymore. We are using the Redux store, right? So we are going to implement actions, which will dispatch a certain action, which reducers will listen to. So let's get started with that first. So if you look at the products, and so basically products is a child of app container which is a smart component all right which is going to receive which is already receiving products so products is assume just a network request where you are receiving all the products from a network all right and cart is not aware of all this uh, uh, products all right now simply what we are going to do is we are going to pass the cart to the products as well so let's just quickly do that and I'll tell you why we are going to do this. Now, when I go to products, if you look at this state.cart, we are not currently using this at all, right? So we are going to use the cart from the Redux, right? And uh, which is going to be uh, used over here. And in a way, uh, we are not actually going to need uh, the cart from the redux as well over here we simply going to dispatch an action and uh, we are going to receive the result but for now just stick with me uh, we are not going to use uh, the state cart and of course we are going to remove this as well you'll see why okay uh, just a moment now um, we have this add to cart function which is playing around with the state but we are not viewing or we are not getting any result back in the ui so let's get started and create an action first okay so we are going to create an action inside our redux folder we have an actions folder and i'm going to create a file called cart action because this add to cart is specifically related to the cart okay over here i'm going to have a uh, type name for our action i'm going to call this as add to cart Okay, and I'm of course as well going to uh, export this and I'm going to have a function over here which is again going to be exported. I'm going to call this as add to cart action which is going to return you a type of the action which is add to cart and it is going to re return you the payload. Now you might be wondering who is going to use this. So this action is going to be consumed inside our cart reducer which is this action it is going to consume over here all right so whenever we are going to call this function we will see how to connect it to the reducer later on but let's just stick with me for creating an action creator okay so what is an action creator this is an action we are going to create an action now you'll soon see that so this is simply just a function returning a type and a payload so what is the payload? So payload is the exactly uh, this cart item. So basically every time, of course our cart doesn't know anything about products, right? So there is no way for our cart to get all the products, right? Simply what we are going to do is every time we are going to pass an entirely new product to our cart. So that is what we are going to do over here. And every time our add to cart action receives an entirely new product and we send it as a payload. All right, so this action has been created, but this is not connected to the connect. So we are going to pass this to our products, which is going to call this action from over here. Okay, so we can simply connect the connect over here to the products, but that would be a bad pattern. Why bad pattern? Because inside a container, you should not have another container. You can have, but you should not have. Okay, so 
inside our app which is already a smart component which is already a connected component it should not have another smart component so a smart component cannot have another smart component you can have but please stay away from it okay now inside products we are simply going to receive that action as a prop so how let's see that now okay so we are going to have a function over here called map state map action map actions to props and it is simply going to receive something let's see what it is going to receive all right i'll just as well change this to props okay so this props when we pass it to the connect over here like this as a second argument it receives an argument called dispatch okay so this dispatch is is the method which creates an action into an action creator okay so we are going to simply do that but there is another additional function that we need to pass it over here to the return so that is provided to us by redux so that is called bind action creators from redux okay and if you just google it bind action creators redux you will be able to read more about it i uh, just googled it just for fixing my spelling okay it is action creators okay now we need to call this bind action creator over here like this and we need to pass our functions okay so this function is going to be the reducer uh, it's going to be the action that we created so that is add to cart action and we are going to import it over here okay add to cart action is being passed over here to the bind action creators like this you can add more actions over here now this action needs to be bind to this dispatch and that is what this bind action creator comes into place and we just simply pass it away right now the benefit of this is whenever you call this action add to cart so basically we are going to receive it over here like this so this dot props dot not dispatch we are going to receive it like add to cart action okay add to cart action okay this action is connected to redux now because of this connect function and whenever we call this action okay an action gets triggered and all the reducers they receive certain type and we are going to handle that over here later on okay so now let's just simply call this function okay add to cart action and we already have props over here so add to cart action it is the same as this name you can even change this to let's say add to cart as yes, add to cart action but i like to stick with the same similar names so add to cart action is available over here from this props now i'm going to simply pass it over here okay we are we don't need the cart anymore okay you will see why so inside products whenever i am going okay i'm simply going to call instead of updating the state add to cart state okay so we are just simply going to call this dot props dot add to cart action which needs a product which is this product remember so our product like we remember right when we created this action we are needing a product over here right so we are just doing that we are sending a product to our add to cart action and all this functionality which you see over here is now going to be handled inside our reducers so when i mentioned to you before that when we call this add to cart action all the reducers okay so all the reducers that means whichever reducers are inside this combined reducer they will listen to this dispatch action okay now we are going to listen to that so let's say whoever is listening to this action okay let's just add a switch case over here and action dot type which we have it over here like this okay on case so let's say we are going to listen so this specific cart reducer is going to listen to the uh, add to cart action okay so we are going to import the action string first so whenever we get that particular action we are going to have a block scope over here okay now the rule of 
uh, reducers is you have to always return a new state okay so simply we are going to do that so whenever we receive an action we also receive an action dot payload so that is our product right so product is equal to action action dot payload and our cart is in this case is simply the state all right and if you look at this we have product we have a cart and if you look at our products we have everything we need right so i'm simply going to copy this okay and paste it over here like this okay we have a cart already we are going to delete this existing find existing product we are going to paste this function and we don't need this this dot state okay uh, for this we'll just say call it as updated cart okay is equal to this these functions are missing we are going to copy them as well yes so <laughs> delete them first okay we don't need them anymore we are going to cut this both the functions and move it to the cart reducer over here like this simply convert them to const okay and that's it we don't need any this keyword anymore because this function is available over here like this and this guy returns updated cart we have to fix that as well okay just for the readability purpose all right and we have the updated cart over here and as i mentioned before we have to just simply return a new state so if you look at the state so this is our new cart right so we are going to return that now return updated cart that's it <laughs> nothing more that was really simple right so we just call our action since action is connected to our connect it is dispatching an action which is heard by all the reducers and based on the action re received we are manipulating or we are updating this existing state but we are returning a new state every time so let's see this in action all right and i'm just simply going to reload add okay find product index of undefined okay i think i forgot to remove this keyword okay simply going to remove this and let's see it now all right it works perfect so everything is working fine over here okay and add a banana okay so banana is getting updated but the missing thing is uh, if i click on this units they are not working and the total so this is like a shopping cart right we have to display the total amount over here at the bottom each one has a price we have to display it at the bottom over here and that's it this is all about redux and react okay there is nothing more to it uh so there are middlewares and all that stuff but this is the pure basic of react and redux so see you in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye